Hi, it's Sagittarius, tarot scope reading, and today I'm going to do the gypsy spread reading because it gives more in depth and it will probably give enough information which will lead to the end of the year where the new year starts. So first I'm going to deal out the cards, which is seven cards in a row from right to left. And then I make three rows of this. Okay, so they all on the screen. Push these up a little. Alright, let's look at the first column over here. We start with this first column represents your state of mind, the energy that you are bringing into, or from September actually, sorry. This so year's flying by really fast. Okay. Well, let's start with Five of Swords, and then you have Ace of Pentacles reversed, and then the Sun card. So, if we look at Five of Swords, that talks about um, a bickering and bantering, and there's actually winners and losers in this type of confrontation. So, you're bringing in this this type of competition and confrontation that is going on and it's not actually fun for you because there are like see this person is a victor and carrying away all these swords because they won the battle they won and it's not it's not a happy victory it's it's a it's a bitter defeat it's it's one that you aren't pleased with the outcome, no matter if you are the winner or the loser. And I do believe you are the one that's walking away as the victor, but you still aren't pleased with it. Just take what you need and, and move on. As you can see, some of these swords are being left behind. You don't need them all. It wasn't a battle that anyone would be proud of. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have a new financial direction and an avenue and adventure or venture that you want to undertake. But right now it's being postponed. You are in the process of developing the concept, the idea, and trying to plant it and put it into, into motion. But it's being slow at the growth and the possibility which does have great possibility. It has a really good potential of being very flourishing and rewarding for you. And you should be in good spirits because you have the sun, the sun of the innocent, the just all around happy for being alive, for breathing, for, for being who you are and where you are in life. And knowing the people you know, it's just this innocent, innocent, naive joy about life and enjoying every breath you have or you take. In your home life currently, you have King of Swords reversed, Nine of Pentacles, and Eight of Pentacles reversed. So King of Swords talks about an air sign, which is a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Right now, they are not, this is somebody around you in your home life, and they are not acting like themselves. Normally, a, a king of swords upright would be very strong and, and very articulate and good at communicating and good with their thoughts and their mind and their actions. 
and their words and planning as you can see he looks to be planning and strategizing but right now this air sign around you is not using these skills very wisely he's not using his his planning techniques I say he but in a general reading it could be a she also um, I'm just saying he because the card says it's a king but it could be a she that is a uh, air sign around you that is acting out of this reversal not using their intellect very well their communication skills or their strategizing skills you on the other hand are being very good with your resources you are pleased with your self-sufficiency and being able to take care of yourself and and you are enjoying the fruits of your labor and talking about your labor with eight of pentacles at this time you are not develop you're not putting out your complete potential in the work environment because there could be a situation where you are unable to work at your utmost peak at this moment so you might be holding back there might not be the opportunity for you to actually show your expertise your desires for the month of October is you desire six of wands strength card reversed and the king of wands reversed you desire to actually get some acknowledgement for what you have undergone there has been something it could have been this this small battle that you had to defend yourself and you won or it could be another situation that you had undergone and you desire some recognition for this accomplishment you desire people to actually notice and appreciate what you have accomplished you desire to get your strength back at recently you have that may be why you are not working at your full potential is your strength has been waning and you have been a little more emotional and not as strong physically mentally emotionally you have been there has been some situation that has drained you and it, you have been waned of your strength with king of wands this is you more or less because this is a fire sign this is either an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so you desire to not be acting out of the reversal right now you are acting out of the reversal and you desire to not be and it's probably because you don't have your strength your complete strength back yet and it probably is because you undergone some situation so when you're not acting yourself and you're acting all the reversal you tend to be kind of here and there and and not focused as you can see the king sits here he's focused he has a desire and a passion and a drive but when it's in the reversal you aren't focused you don't have that desire to keep you focused you don't have that passion that drive probably you don't have that strength and right now your charisma is probably waning so you don't have people that will listen to you because they can tell you're not at at your peak anymore so they don't want to people want to follow somebody that is strong and a leader and right now you aren't acting as a leader you are a you're not your complete strength at this time what you expect to happen is six of pentacles reversed four of pentacles reversed and the justice reversed so it's six of pentacles reversed you expect that six of pentacles talks about the give and take the charity being helpful to other people and and they will help you back you expect that that's not going to happen at this time you probably don't even have the energy to help other people 
So you don't expect other people to help you because you don't have the strength, the energy, the time to help other people. And you actually may not have the resources because Four of Pentacles upright talks about being being very frugal and, and stable and kind of stingy with your money, but you still are stable. But by being reversed, you aren't so much stable. And that's probably one of the things that you are unable to help other people with is your finances. You are unable to help people financially if they need help. Probably strength-wise, you're unable to help people. You, It sounds like you need to take a break, to take some time out. And it looks like it could have possibly been a situation that wasn't fair. And what you expect to happen is there to be no justice. It's still not going to be fair. So you're not going to be able to help other people. You're not going to be able to balance your finances, your time, your energy. And there's going to be a situation that still isn't going to be just. This is what you expect for the month. Is five of wands, the chariot reversed, and the wheel reversed. So the five of wands. You're going to be surprised at the friendly banter people are doing with you, probably in your family or, or at your work. And they will do it with a smile on their face. They will do some joking around and jab, friendly jabbing at you. And, and it's just a way for them to show that they love you, just like brothers and sisters do to each other a lot of times. This is going to surprise you because you didn't realize that they cared. And, and this is like one of the only ways that they can show they care. They cannot articulate what they see you went through. And they don't know how to help you. But they are trying to show that they care for you still. It's going to surprise you that you are unable to move forward that the wheel has slowed at this time and it hasn't made the turn necessary for you to move on, to get your karma back, to move into a fresh new cycle and to finally get that mojo, that yin and that yang back where you can actually accomplish something. So it's actually being delayed, postponed, and it's taking, it feels like it's taking forever. And this is what's surprising you, is like how long it's taken you to heal, to move on, to process this whole situation. You will get the Hermit card, and the Three of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Now, like I said over here, it seemed like you needed to take some time out and take a break and rest and contemplate. Well, that's exactly what you're going to get by the end of October. is with the Hermit card, you're going to get some time to go inward, to look at your situation, to find your inner guidance, your inner light, to figure out what it is you want to accomplish and what it is you need to do. You will not see your ships coming in at this time. You may have to wait a little bit longer, but you do have a new opportunity. A lot of people have been getting this card, Ace of Swords, or Ace of Wands, and both of those are really lucky and fortunate cards to get in your spread. And a lot of times they are very phallic in nature. So in your soon-to-be future, by the end, you are going to have this, this idea, this spark that is very, very phallic, very stimulating, and it has great potential. But it's not going to be bringing your ships in at this time. So as a long-term outcome, 
You have the Devil, the Tower, and Two of Swords. So you have some kind of bondage that is holding you. This could be an addiction of some kind. This could be an addiction to food, drugs, alcohol, sex. This could be some kind of bondage in a form of a contract. Like where you work, you have a verbal contract where you work there and then you get paid. So you have a contract or a marriage contract or, or something that is binding you in your soon-to-be future or this is your long-term outcome, by the end of the year, you still have this bondage. By the beginning of January, the end of December, you still have this bondage. Something is going to happen, though. It could be in regards to this bondage, but it's something external from you. It's something that you don't have control over. It's something that is going to happen no matter what. The universe is probably making it happen. Because you did not, you knew something needed to be done and you did not take the initiative because this is, this card comes up when the universe is taking, taking charge. They will make it crumble in front of you. So you have to start from scratch again. Either it will remove it from your life so you can bring in something better that will help you grow and go the direction you are required and wanted to go. Or this situation that crumbled, that fell to the ground, will be rebuilt with a sturdier base. This whole situation with this bondage, whatever it is that is, is holding you down, and the changes that need to be undergone, are leading you to these two directions, this choice that you need to make. Which direction are you going to choose to go? Sure, you don't know, as she's blindfolded here, which direction will lead to what, which is better for you in the long run. The moon is there, things are dark and cloudy and shaded, but you are going to need to make a choice. You are going to need to make a decision and follow your instincts. Go with your gut feeling. Go with your intuition. And you will go the right direction. So it looks like there is something that you have accomplished. You have a really great card, the sun. You are starting out the month very happy and in a very good great to be alive state. You are so happy to breathe, to be where you are, to be with friends and lovers and family members, to be who you are. You are very pleased. There is something that you have undergone, you have accomplished. You aren't yourself yet. You are still working on that. You need to still take some time out and reflect on what is the next step, what is the next process. And by the end of the year, you will get that chance to make your choice and go that direction you need to go. Looks like you are going to have a really busy year ahead of you the rest of the year, the next couple months. So I wish you all the best and bless you all.